Hi, everybody. Welcome to the September 16th, uh, 2021 Chaos Common Workgroup Meeting. If you could please take a second and add yourself to the agenda, that would be most excellent. And tell us what you're doing. <laughs> Elizabeth is. Oh, yes. Apparently what I did worked. What I did. Okay, okay well. <laughs> It did. Awesome. Great. Uh, so we have live transcripts on this on this uh, meeting and we can have them for the rest as well. That's great. Uh, all right. So with respect to the agenda, I'm going to share my screen here. Um, we need to review any comments that we might have on the common metrics that are under community review. Uh, take a look at the spreadsheet and really kind of I think most of it is just talking about the metrics that we'd like to work on next in common and maybe start I guess maybe work on one today and or start assigning folks you know what I mean to just to kind of build those out just a tiny bit so close that hold on just a second Just getting a few tabs open for a second here. So just give me a second. And I will come back to share my screen. All right, so uh, here we are with the, the metrics. If we go under the issues, we have two, four, six, seven. Um, that's great seven metrics that are under review. So I have gone through the checklist for all the metrics and like there are a few things that are remaining. I was not sure whether to modify them or change them. So I've pointed out what are remaining in the each of the... So if you go to the our document, like... Uh, this working, one or this no, one? Not, no, the, uh, the Google Docs, yep, this one. So scroll down uh, on the, okay. yep, yep, on this uh, place. So I've provided the review for all of these. Thank you. So, in, so like the, the things that are remaining are highlighted in this section, especially like in programming language, the issue was of the naming convention. And I was not sure if I modify the name, will it break on the website? So I, I, that part I have not done it. This is like changing the title. Yes. So I've I've covered all the things, minor things that were ad editable on my end. So I've done them in the GitHub and they are all done and reviewed. But the things that might break something, I have not touched them and I've just highlighted them. Okay. So maybe let's take them one by one then. Yep. So program language distribution. Okay. So what you're saying is the suggestion is... So like uh, convert the me. table into image that is not done yet. Uh, so if you go into the metric, uh, there's a table and as per new standard, we don't need the table. We have to convert the table into an image. Go here. Yep. Is this what you're asking for? This table needs to be converted into the image. Okay. And, 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 then, the other, and then the other thing is... is naming so file name is uh, uh, language distribution dot md whereas title is programming language distribution so these are the two things remaining in this that needs to be fixed then our checklist will be complete for the gotcha. quality stuff gotcha okay so with respect to the name was there what is the name that we ended up landing on do you know Programming language distribution is the this proper is, name. This is proper right here. Yes, yes. Okay. So if we modify the MD file name, is it going to break the website? I was not sure that's where I have not touched this particular thing. Okay. Yes, yes, it will break the website, but you are correct that it needs to be fixed. So I'm kind of, I'm surprised I didn't flag this one. There were, uh, in the release, there are 
three metrics that have this issue. Okay. Uh, when I when I put them on the website, I went out of my way to make sure they were on the website using the correct name, okay. uh, which is which is as you point out, programming language distribution. Uh, right. And you're also correct that that is a that is a checklist item. Yep. So. So uh, so I have like marked all the checklists. This particular item is not marked on the checklist. So once it is fixed, then it'll be marked on the checklist. Was it was it marked? No, so the checklist was uh, in cup. I don't remember exactly. In most of the cases when I was going through all these uh, as a my action item, most of the checklists were not marked as so I was going through every step and marking them checklist. I, okay. don't, I don't, don't remember exactly which one is marked or which one was not marked, but I was okay. going through all of them and marking them accordingly. Well, good, good for you. That's uh, that's exactly why the checklist is here. So thank you, thank you for doing that. Yep. Okay, so maybe Vinod, can you just change the name of this to programming language distribution and then tag. Kevin, maybe in the issue. Okay. That this has been updated. Okay. And then yep. could you convert those to images as well? Is that? Yes, I'll take those images and uh, fix them. Just screenshot them or? Yes. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Yep. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this. Maybe just assign me as the reviewer. That's a good idea. Okay. Uh, and then I'll, mer I'll merge the pull rig. Request and uh, okay. and fix it on the website at the same time. Okay. Okay. So collaboration. Uh, so collaboration that, platform. Yeah. Let me go there. Yeah. This was not following the naming convention for the image only. Other things were all. Um, so the image was directly like uh, if you go to the raw code, it was embedded from some website or something. That's where I was like, what should I do here? This. You see this? Yes, this particular. So we have no, to copy no, the image. This. It's that. That's the image. Uh, okay. Yeah. So oh, what is the name? Yep. That it was not following the naming convention. Sorry. Yes. Uh, so if you look at the name of this collaboration platform and our naming convention is uh, uh, it was a uh, like combination of the activity and the focus uh, like name of the image and name of the metric has to so what be would be the image. what would be the proposed name so the proposed name will be the name of the metric so it would and, be so it'll be the name of the metric. collaboration platform activity. Yes, collaboration dash platform dash activity underscore name of the image, whatever the image name be. So collaboration platforms. Yes, collaboration dash uh, platform. Yeah. Dot. Okay, so would anybody like to take the action item to f that shouldn't that won't break anything. It just needs to be yes renamed in the image folder and then updated and in the markdown file. So what uh, mostly I work on the GitHub platform and GitHub platform is not allowing me the option to rename it. So if someone is storing it on their local machine, then they can easily change it, create a pull. So you can't go into here yes so i cannot add if you go to the images yes and now I'll try to edit the name you cannot edit this name that's so I for a, images a, github doesn't allow you to edit the names for, for okay. files for files they, you can edit the names so this would just be download this image rename it re-upload yep. it and then delete this old one Yep. Okay. I can do that. That's not a big uh, issue. It, I'll, yeah. It probably is easier for for someone if they're uh, 
if they're if they're using a uh, forked copy or cloned copy on their machine to yeah to just to just just change the file name rather than downloading it. So, yeah, so I have to go. I could this I could probably do that real quick if you want. That will be wonderful because I have to go through all this process. All right, Kevin will do this. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. And uh, like what Kevin said earlier, Bernard, thank you for going through all of these. Yeah, Bernard, you're, uh, you're, you're killing it. Thank you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, technical fork. So, and this contributors are not mentioned. Who are the contributors? So this was basically update of an old uh, mat release metric. So the as per new format, the contributors were not there. So what should we do? Should we just leave it as it is because- oh, We have an error there anyway. No, scroll down, the naming has seen. So oh, okay. there's a new link down in the screen. Sorry. Yep, yep, there. this one. Gotcha. So basically we just don't have Contributors. Is yes. this this is because this was an old metric, right? Yes, and we have revised or updated this metric. I think it's okay that we don't have okay. contributors. Okay. I think so we, is it going to conversation before, but yeah, I think we, we had decided we weren't going to go back and retroactively add contributors. Uh, however, we should be if we are if we're editing metrics, we should probably add them during the, the editing process. And I think that's what I think that's what Manad's point is. This this metric was actually discussed fairly thoroughly along with the uh, the clone metrics. So and clone I think Vinod Vin yeah. led the efforts on this one, so he could probably put together a contributor list fairly easily. So so my only question was yes, I can do that, but the only question was uh, uh, should uh, the revised metrics need to have the contributor list or because they are released earlier, they should be kept as intact only. I was not sure on that. So whatever the decision is. What's the, what is the decision to be made? Whether we should have the list or. Because so it was if, a, if a metric yes. goes back through community review because it's been revised in some fashion. Yeah. Should we update it so that it matches the templates? Uh, and and I would say yes. And part of updating it to match the template is adding that contributor section. I see. It, my only hesitation with adding contributors is the way that we've done it for the other metrics is we let people put their own name in just in case people don't want to be recognized as a contributor for a reason that's yep. that's unique to them. Um, so that's so we, all. we did. Uh, we did. So we worked on this one in conjunction with the clones metric uh, when, when we were revising it. So I think that the easiest fix would be to just copy the clones metric contribution section and just paste it into this one. Uh, and I think those are, those are all people that uh, are regularly on the common calls, I believe. Alternately, the nod did lead the effort on this metric. We could just add the nod to it. Spear of the nod of a nod only metric. That's okay. <laughs> no, that is not the case. Like I just wanted the what to be done with it. So. All right. Thank you, Vinod. Um, clones looks like it's done, so we're good there. Yeah, everything is uh, good in there. Okay, there, there were right. no outstanding. No, uh, no issue. Yep. Okay. Um, uh, bot activity. Oh, okay. So another. 
Kevin, could you do that one too while you're renaming images? So in the bot activity, if you go to the metric, there was a link, hyperlink to a particular image. This? This one. Well, this hasn't even been added yet, has it? No, no, you are opening the doc file. Can you open the GitHub file? Where you don't see the GitHub file, interestingly. Oh, okay. That's, uh... Maybe, oh, maybe it just, maybe it's ah. here. You know what I mean? Yeah. But... Yep. So if you go to the file. Okay, so it is in, where is it? Bot activity. I can get to it this way. There you go. Yep. So, so probably... While you're here, can you just grab the link and yeah, and put it into the into the issue? Yeah. Uh, edit the edit the first post and put it at the very top of the list. Yep. And so this should be. And it has a HTML text, so uh, no markdown should have in it. Okay. HTML text. Okay, so this one actually will be a a download and an upload because we'll need to we'll need to take that image from uh, wherever it's located and upload it into the uh, put it into Git GitHub. Okay, and the name in this one would be uh, bot dash activity underscore and the name of the image. Um, I mean, could it just be bot activity, bot activity? <laughs> Something like that. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, uh, Kevin, are you doing this one or no? Uh, yeah, I can probably do this one too. If it's, I don't, if uh, it's not too much trouble, you seem to imply the other one wasn't too much trouble. Yeah, the other one's just a name change. This one will actually be grabbing the image. Uh, it's, it's really not that much trouble. Okay. I am kind of wondering about our our naming convention for, the, like for this? these. This is yeah. Uh, it's not a that's not a standard naming convention. We would. Uh, I, I wonder if we should follow a standing standard uh, naming convention oh, where bots. bot activity is actually a folder, and bot activity in Kubernetes is the file. So just like like. I'll be like this. Yeah, yeah. I'm wondering. I'm one. That that's a standard. That's a standard structure for storing images. The uh, this this other thing is kind of weird, and I don't uh, because we because the the template was done this round. We haven't really we haven't really kind of tested out some of these uh, uh, standardizations that we uh, that we put into play. Mm -hmm. Any thoughts on this? Because I think the so we I have an images we have an images folder at the uh, yep. uh, at the uh, focus area level, right? Yep. So the reason that they want to name these in this fashion is so that you can kind of different so that you understand which met which uh, which images belong to which metrics. Yes. And, yep. And I would I would say that the standard way, the proper way to do that would actually be just have a folder in the images folder that is connected to that metric. So be the there'd be a bot activity folder that would go with the bot activity metric, and then all of the metrics in that folder would just be uh, all the images in that uh, metric will be in that folder. 
Yeah, what are your thoughts on that? Because if, uh, if that is the case, I would say let's maybe hold off on renaming these images uh, because I, I think that would involve a, uh, I think that would involve some activity kind of similar to the restructuring of, uh, of working groups. It's, it's a big task. Yep. So does anybody have any thoughts on that going forward? So, I mean, it would, re it would require an edit to the template. Yep, and it will require editing all the images and all the releases then. Um, and we don't have to do it right now. Right. So if I come in here, yeah, I mean, each one of those, right? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. So each, uh, each image has a name of a metric and the image name. So if a metric has two images, then image one, image two can be the name. Um, I mean, I, I if, guess if, if that's something we want to do in the future, I would I don't think we have to do it now, but I think we could postpone any image name changes. Yeah, and even like some of these aren't great, you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I maybe so to your is your question, Kevin, maybe just stay with this format for the time being. Uh, yeah, because we'd be changing it to something that we maybe don't want to keep anyway. Yeah. Right. So, so let's just keep it that this then. Until we have the uh, the bandwidth or someone who uh, who could go through each working group and do this. Yes. Just take the time. Kind of similar to the way. So the way they the way they were changed to what they are now is because Yash and Riddick were going through and doing the restructuring. So they, yeah. they went through and they put it into this format. And I'm just, I'm wondering if maybe we should have had a little more discussion about the format before, before they did it. Uh, but that's okay. It's, uh, it's just, I think it's, it's one of those little things that you catch once you start working with it. Right. Yep. So for the time being, let's just keep it the way it is, the way that Yash and Ritik had put it together and Right, and then if we want to change it, we'll do it kind of wholesale across the working groups. Yeah, and the, the first step, I think, and maybe that's, and maybe this is something we could do now. We could actually go and change the template guidance on how to do this, mm -hmm. so that any future metrics we do do get done correctly, and then that that would also provide a bit of a roadmap for someone going in and uh, fixing the images that are uh, incorrectly. Uh, Named and placed. Okay, so it's around like name of metric underscore name of. Image, image versus that folder. Yeah. Okay. Seems like an easy change. Just change an underscore with a slash, and <laughs> you're good to go. <laughs> yep. Wouldn't that be nice? All right. Cool. Okay. Uh, Good question. Actually, we had talked about in uh, yesterday's DEI workgroup meeting about uh, operations group. Do you remember this, Elizabeth? Yeah. Um, the idea was that there would be a committee or a team that was um, focused on chaos operational things. So exactly like what we just were talking about, you know, um, that would be the kind of thing that this team would address. 
I mean, because we don't really have a team like that now. It's kind of ad hoc and whoever happens to have the bandwidth and or passion to do things. Um, I mean, I'll be honest, like when it came up yesterday and I know we're being recorded. So hi, Yash. Hi, Ritik. <laughs> my, my first thought was to, <laughs> to have Yash and Ritik <laughs> be the, I mean, they, they understand the structure of all of the the working groups quite well. And I mean, they're super efficient on on making these kinds of changes. So my thought was to kind of invite them to be the leads on the operations team. I don't know if you had the same thought yesterday, Elizabeth, when we were talking about it, but. Yeah, I mean, I think they they would be amazing, a huge asset to, to chaos if we had a team that, and if they were leading that team that could do these kinds of things. Did that make sense to you, Kevin and Vinod? Yeah. This operations team? Totally agree. Cool. All right. Um, this made me think while we're here, Sean, I'm going to call on you for a second. So do you want to introduce yourself as the, uh, as the. And the person doing the change branch change things. Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> so there's been some discussion in the community about removing the term, making the default branch, something other than master, which in the United States has cultural connotations related to our historical status as a country that bought a lot of slaves and that we are trying to move past that history or at least not reinforce it through the terms and words that we use the words matter and a lot of projects have started to flip to main instead of master and if this group is amenable to that change then uh two things would take place one i could go and do it for you because there's no software involved here so the amount of risk is fairly low. Like when I changed Augur from master domain, I had to find all the documentation links, um, all the build the docs links, all the testing and integration links um, that were pointed at the old default directory and point them to the new one. But when you're not doing automated builds and things like that is, is the case for the metrics working groups, changing the name is a fairly straightforward exercise with only really one side effect that Kevin has to handle with regards to publishing our metrics automatically on the website. So with that set up, I, I'm just gonna inquire if this group would be okay with that change or is interested in that change or has concerns about it. I say yes. Yeah, just do it. I'm good with okay. It. So yeah. what <clears throat> we'll do it. I mean it's it's so fast. I I can do it while we're sitting here enjoying the rest of the meeting. And uh, then I will just send Kevin a note that it has been changed. Uh, and... Perhaps, can I, could I actually get you to schedule that a little differently? Sure. So it, it's an easy task. However, it is a little bit of a time consuming task on my end. Okay, well, that's uh, fair, that's fair. So I, you just, I'll, um, I'll, I'll need about an hour to, to do the fix. Uh, so could, could you, could you push it on? Could you, could you make that change on well tomorrow? Sure. Yeah, so, absolutely. I, I can, uh, I can do the fix anytime tomorrow, but my, my schedule today is a little, uh, uh That's full. not a problem. I'll schedule it uh, as a task for myself, uh, right before the chaos cast. Well, and then aren't you, you have your risk meeting today too. So if you haven't made that change there, you could make both of those tomorrow. I'm trying to think if I, I don't think I did yet, but I might have just done it. I'm not told Kevin, I have to check. Ah, uh, we can check the website. Mm, no, it's still <laughs> a risk. Uh, yeah. If you did it, the, if you did it, then none of the risk metrics are going to be showing up on the website. I so. haven't done it yet. So I'll bring it up okay. in the risk meeting today and then, um, I'll let you know, Kevin, that they've both been done when they've been done tomorrow morning, probably before eight. Okay. All right. Thank you for that update, Sean. And thank you no for problem. your thoughts, Kevin, on yeah. that. Yeah. Thanks for speaking up and not letting me break things for a day. Well, we just did it in DEI, I remember, so it was broken for a day. Yeah, <laughs> we yeah. Didn't and, Kevin. <laughs> and truthfully, it was not the end of the world. No. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, so 
Okay, so we got that done. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take a, just a second here because I don't, we don't have a ton of time and I just want to take a look if we have any outstanding, we have no outstanding pull requests and our issues, does everybody kind of agree our issues are not of an urgent nature? No, they're all about new metrics and yeah. least metrics. So there's nothing really that needs to be addressed. Total consensus for me at this point. Okay. So we have three metrics that are in progress, drive through contributors, time waiting for reviewer action and time waiting for submitter action. And time waiting for submitter reviewer. What was that first one? Drive through. Oh, episodic. So we're inconsistent. Um, I think we had, we're starting to land on episodic contributions. I feel like at one point there was a discussion and I don't remember wh where, um, but the episodic might, someone said that the episodic word might be confusing for non-native English speakers. Yeah, that's Don's comment there. Is it Don? Okay, I couldn't remember who said that. Um, so I just want to bring that up again. It is, it's confusing I mean, for me personally. Fly, like I have fly, to. Flyby yeah. certainly has less concern than drive by. And it, the, yeah. We've gotten rid of drive by. This is yeah. through. This is the people who come back occasionally. Um, about, what about occasional oh. contributors? I thought it was one and done. So is episodic, um, episodic to me suggests like, they don't make contributions regularly, but occasionally they do. They can, episodic contributors can also be one and done. Right, so the, uh, I think the, with the definition there is that with an episodic contributor, they come to do, they come to do one thing, right? And then they, and then they, uh, and then they leave. Now they, they could come back to do one thing uh, at a later date uh, or another thing at a later date, but the, but they're not, uh, they don't really become part of the community. They just show up when they need to fix something, right? Yeah, occasionally at irregular intervals, yeah. So, it, and it can be, it can, so that can be one and done. What about occasional, as Elizabeth pointed out, occasional contributors? I think occasional serves the purpose. I, I personally think that occasional is a little more uh, user friendly. It may not be as precise as episodic, but it's, it's a little less uh, open for interpretation, I guess, maybe. Kevin, I know you've really liked episodic. What do you think of that? I like I, actually. I, I I like occasional, too. Okay. And and keep in mind, we're I think all of these other terms are going to be mentioned, probably almost immediately in the description. Yes, yeah. that's probably it's probably the last sentence in the description. It's like this metric is often referred to as episodic contributors or drive by or uh, drive through or so. Okay. Okay, so let's do that. And then should I just yep. edit this? I have to spell occasional again. Okay, 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 yeah. <laughs> A-S-I-O-N, A-S-I-O-N-A-L, occasional contributors, okay. So what is the... Uh, what is the opposite of, I guess opposite's not really the word, but what's the, what's the, what's the flip side of the coin here for occasional contributors? Consistent. Is it, is it core contributors, consistent contributors? Is it? So the core comes in the mind. Like if you, the moment you ask this question, the first thing that clicked in my mind was the core. 
Yeah, so normally core is it's core and periphery. Yep. So drive through contributors or occasional contributors would be considered okay. peripheral okay. contributors as well in in that model. Yep. But I'm just I'm wondering, so is this term gonna make sense when we talk about different types of contributors? So if we if we call the other types of contributors core contributors, does it make sense to have these are core contributors and these are occasional contributors? Or or is is there a better term than core? I yeah, I didn't immediately go to core. What did I, you go to? Consistent. Consistent. Okay, so that's not a term I've heard before. Uh, okay. In so regards in regards to contributors, right? Which isn't a problem. I'm just saying it's not a uh, it's not a term that's being used currently that I know of. Is it? Um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, is it? I mean, you're 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 asking the question of what's the opposite of this, and uh, so I'm I, I'm just wanting to make sure that as we move forward, the term that we're using can fit in with. Uh, fit in with uh, in conversations where we're, we're talking about different types of contributors. So if we, if we name this occasional contributors now, and then at a later date when we're talking about, well, so what are the other types of contributors? Uh, I'm, just, I'm just asking that we have a little bit of foresight in how this term uh, would exist in the world, I guess is, is what I'm saying. So what are the other contributors that we have defined in chaos right now? We, we haven't, we haven't yet. Uh, I think in the, in the, the episodic contributors literature, I think it's episodic and non-episodic. Uh, and then in the, in the core, which uh, Vinod mentions it, it's core and periphery. Uh, and then I think there are, there are some other terms that kind of that are kind of thrown about for uh, like key uh, contributors. Yeah, things like that. Like um, what? Key? Key. Yeah, key contributors. So I mean, okay. So then the opposite could be non-occasional contributors <laughs> compared to episodic <laughs> and non-episodic. And I don't know that opposite, opposite really isn't the right term for it. I'm just, okay. it's, it's other types of contributors. So we're, we're identifying this one type of contributor and I'd just like us to think a little bit about how, uh, what other types of contributors would exist. And if we're naming them, uh, are, are the names, do the names need to be kind of uh, related a little bit, right? I mean, I, I could see a scenario where you have a, an occasional contributor who may may actually be perceived as a core contributor. Yeah. Depending on how you define the term of core. Yeah, and I and I agree. I think if 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 we if we choose to use core contributors to identify this other type of contributor, I think core and occasional do work together, or would would fit together. You could make the case that. Uh, yeah, an occasional contributor could become an, a core contributor. Okay, so are we okay with this then? Yes. Okay. Yes, I, I I like the term. I'm just I'm just having a little bit of foresight about uh, just want us to think for a moment about uh, how this would affect. Uh, other types of contributors in the future. Yeah, okay, so, so let me get this down here, episodic. Why is it that you have an entire house and the dogs have to be within like one inch of me. 
<laughs> I do that love too. You. One is hot and the other one wants to put his paw on her head because she's hot. <laughs> Why? Okay. All right. So this is good. And, and while we're having this discussion, should we propose a new metric of core contributors? So how about we keep it contributor type and elaborate core and occasional contributors? Yeah, we could. Um, so with respect to core contributor, I mean, I can see at least the, the papers, the academic papers kind of treat these differently, right? So it can be things like, it can be around issues, it can be around PRs, it can be around commits, it can be around management. Yeah. The, the liter literature says 80% of the work is done by core okay. contributors. Yeah. Uh, but like from a common metric perspective, like we could say, here's this thing called a core contributor. Right. So I guess to your point, then the definition would be, you know, a few percent. And then whatever work you want to look at, you know what I mean, right? And then, and I suppose that would mean if we're if we're if we're looking at that eighty percent rule, which academic work says exists, then I suppose that implies that twenty percent of the work is done by episodic or occasional contributors, uh, right? Occasional contributors. Yep. Um. No. No. No, because I think an occasional contributor. Like if could could actually be a core contributor. Okay. So it's possible that an occasional contribute contributor just drops a ton of PRs. Yeah. Or maybe the or maybe the project doesn't need a lot of commits. Yeah. Right. So they're not there often, but when they are there, they make pretty significant contributions. I just I know we had seen this. We're doing some work on a Kubernetes project. And like, there are companies that show up, <laughs> you know, there's some that are consistently there in the, in that core, what is defined as a core, but others, oh. they do, they do just appear and their work gets accepted, but then they're gone kind of in the next time window. So are those companies treated as a core or a peripheral? Well, at that, at that time, for that time frame, they're core. Okay. So if you have, you know, six releases, it's quite possible that an organization may show up between the second and third release and be a core contributor at that moment, you know, mm -hmm. but they're not, they're not there often for the, all the unrelated, unrelated note. This, uh, this closed captioning is amazing. <laughs> it's really accurate. We're probably going to get a bill from the Linux foundation. <laughs> <laughs> and be like, hey, thanks for turning that on. <laughs> Here, here's your bill, ten thousand dollars. And be like, oh, <laughs> maybe I should tell somebody. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, this is this is good. I'm gonna I'm gonna take an action item for next time that I can take a look at this one. And that's like this one right here. So okay. All right. Cool. Anything else from folks? We didn't really go through all of these, but that's okay. We're getting close to the end. I would actually Vadad mentioned per possibly just having the metric be contributor types. Does it make sense to do that rather than having a, a like separate metric for four, occasional four, contributors? Four metrics for yeah. one. I I like the differentiation between occasional and 
consistent versus core and peripheral. Oh, consistent. Yeah, I like consistent. Yeah, because I think that a, a peripheral contributor, the, the connotation is like it's not that important. Your contribution was out here, whereas a core contributor is like contributing to the to the meat of the project as opposed to like the frequency with which that's my that's the way I interpret core is like yep. these are important, you know, heavy hitting changes that you're making versus, you know, other things. Yeah, I, I agree. And the, the core periphery model has kind of fallen out of favor in in academic research. That's why that's one of the reasons we see episodic and non-episodic now, because the the core periphery is kind of it's a little problematic. Well, let me um how about this? Let me go to this metric right here before the mm -hmm. next meeting and kind of see if these two could could fit together in the metric or if it kind of just makes a little more sense just to make two metrics. It's not like it's a ton of overhead. Yeah. I do like I do like that the occasional and consistent though. I think that's uh that's good. Okay. And I think we can we could back that up with uh, uh, existing literature as well. So we're done. All right, cool. Well everybody thank you very much. And Vinod, a huge thank you for going through all of these metrics. Yeah. Saving us a ton of time. I think that was that was actually the plan for today was to spend this <laughs> this fifty minutes going through these. So thank you for doing that. I got this action item in the last meeting, so I was like, uh, when I was about to finish my work, I spent like fifteen minutes on going through each metric every day. This is how I done it. So well, thank you, for, thank you very it. much. That was super helpful. And I brought up some thank good you. points. Um, all right, everybody, uh, enjoy the rest of your. Thursday. If I don't see you, enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you next week. Yep. Yeah, can, next I, week. can I ask you a question real quick? Uh, sure. Let me stop everything here. Um, how do I stop? Oh, there we go.